I speed tested every ethernet cable type, and this is what I learned. So guys, before we get started, which cable do you think performed the best? Cat5e, -E, Cat6, Cat6a, Cat7, or Cat8? Leave your answer in the comments below, and then watch until the end of the video to see if you're right or wrong. And the results are gonna shock you. I guarantee you're gonna be wrong. Cat5e, Cat6, Cat6a, Cat7, and Cat8 ethernet cables all have different bandwidth, transfer speeds, latency, and jitter. But how do we know exactly how fast these cables really are? Because we just don't trust what it says on the box, right? Well, in today's video, we're gonna speed test all five ethernet cables using iPerf3, and this test will reveal the transfer speeds, bandwidth, bi-directional bandwidth, and we'll test multiple streams, and lastly, UDP jitter. And then we can easily see which cable or cables is best for our situation. Oh, and guys and gals, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. It's completely free, thanks. If you're not familiar with iPerf3, also known as Internet Performance Working Group, is basically a free open source speed test and network performance measurement tool. This mechanism is very simple. iPerf3 creates TCP and UDP streams and sends traffic from one host to another and then reports maximum bandwidth and other data to the user. Pretty cool. And did I mention it's free? So first, let's do the quick setup for the speed test. You'll need two PCs to connect both ends of the ethernet cable to both ends of the network interface cards on both PCs. So first, download and install iPerf3 on both PCs. Unzip the files on both PCs. You now have the iPerf3 program file. So on PC1, find the iPerf3 program, highlight it, then go to the address bar and type in CMD and hit enter. Now iPerf3 has started. Go ahead and type in iPerf3 space dash S and hit enter. PC1 is now in server mode and is listening on port 5201. And FYI, this is the port by default. We could change the port, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep it simple. Now on PC2, start iPerf3, the same as you did on PC1. Then type in iPerf3 space dash C space and the IP address of the server. This will make PC2 the client. But how do you find the IP address of PC1? Well, it's simple. Go to PC1 and do a simple IP config, or you can check the network settings for the IP address. So our IP address is 192.168.1.225. And there's a good chance your IP address will be different. And FYI, your maximum transfer speeds will be the max of your two PCs network interface cards, or the lesser of the two. For instance, if PC1 has a 2.5 gig NIC, and PC2 has a one gig NIC, then the max speeds will be one gig. Today, we're using two PCs with two 2.5 gig NICs. So our max speeds will be 2.5 gigs. If you're fortunate enough to have 10 gig NICs on both PCs, then you will see 10 gig speeds from some of these cables. Regardless, these tests are very important, not just for maximum speeds and maximum bandwidth, but also for jitter, bi-directional bandwidth, and testing multiple streams. And this will help determine which cable is best for your situation. All right, our first speed test is Cat5e. Okay, this is PC2, and we need to disconnect from the internet. We can now plug in Cat5e into our 2.5 gig network interface card. And we'll plug the other end of the Cat5e into PC1. Like I said before, this is a 2.5 gig NIC as well. And you wanna make sure that both port lights are active. And they are. Now we can start the test. Our first command is a basic bandwidth test. Type in iperf3 space dash c space and the IP address of the server. Then hit enter. And by default, this test lasts for 10 seconds. And you can make it longer or shorter if you want to. In 10 seconds, the Cat5D cable transferred 2.7 gigabytes with bandwidth at 2.37 gigabits per second. Okay, now let's test for multiple streams. On the keyboard, hit the up arrow, then space, dash, uppercase P, space, then four, for four streams. And you can choose any number you want. We just chose four. And the summary at the bottom shows the exact same numbers as the last test. All right, next test. Once again, hit the up arrow, backspace, then add an uppercase R. This is a bi-directional bandwidth test. And the Cat5e transferred 2.74 gigabytes with bandwidth at 2.35 gigabits per second. Once again, hit the up arrow, backspace, lowercase u. This test is for UDP jitter. And this is our final test. 
the Cat 5e jitter is 0.199 milliseconds, and the Cat 5e has zero loss. Okay, our second speed test is Cat 6 riser cable. So I'm not going to bore you with showing you the rest of the cable testing because it's the same process. Plug an Ethernet cable into both PCs and then run the same four commands in iPerf3. However, I'm going to show you the results because that's the most important part, right? And here are the results of all four tests. The first test, the basic bandwidth test, all five cables were the same, plus or minus 0.01. The multiple stream test, all the cables were the same, plus or minus 0.01. For the bidirectional bandwidth test, once again, all the cables were the same, plus or minus 0.01. And for the last test, UDP jitter, well, this was the deciding factor because all cables perform differently. So which cable did you pick at the beginning of the video that you thought performed the best? Was it Cat 5e, Cat 6, Cat 6a, Cat 7? or CAT8. Well, the results are gonna shock you and you're not gonna believe it. And the best performing cable goes to CAT6 riser cable. Huh? That's right, CAT6 performed the best out of all these cables. When it came to all four categories, from basic bandwidth to bi-directional bandwidth, running multiple streams and jitter, all the cables were the same except for one category, and that was UDP jitter. And the number we got for this cable was 0.120 milliseconds and zero loss. And coming in second was CAT8 with 0.135 milliseconds and zero loss. Coming in third was Cat 5e at 0.199 milliseconds with zero loss. And coming in fourth was Cat 7 with jitter at 0.198 milliseconds. And we had one packet loss. And coming in last was Cat 6a coming in at 0.219 milliseconds. And remember, all these cables are less than six feet long. So when it comes to longer distances, the higher end cables will perform much better. But yeah, guys, I couldn't believe Cat 6 riser cable won out. I would have not picked it. My best bet would have been Cat 6a or Cat 8. But that's why we do these tests. And guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.